<laughs> All right, y'all. What's poppin'? Welcome back to Power Stroke Rick YouTube channel. Walk with me. We're walking. Where are we going? We're going outside. Oh, shit. We got a big ass trailer. 6 7 Power Stroke. Daddy Pat. Yo. My man. Hey, where are you gonna put the trailer at? What's that? Welcome back to the Power Stroke Rick YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. You already know it's like a sore dick, can't beat it. All right, y'all, check it out, man. 2016, right? Yep. F250, four by four, six, seven Power Stroke. Daddy long bed. So guys, we're doing full six inch rough country lift kit. Uh, got the four link arms. We got rear traction bars. We got rear airbags. We got new front track bar. We got new drag link tie rod. We got a new track bar ball joint. We got a whole lot of boxes here. So uh, yeah, me and Pat, man, we're gonna unbox this shit, organize everything over here, show you what we got. We got some instructions. We got a little workstation over here. You're gonna need some jack stands, some 12 tons, a couple four ton jacks. Uh, Red Bull, where's that? Red Bull and cigarettes over there, you're gonna need them. Uh, drill bits, sockets, 30 millis, 46, inch and 13 sixteenths. Uh, big long, long daddy uh, three quarter ratchets, torque wrench, half inch impact, pivot arm nut. I did this in my last video, guys, four and a half inch lift I did on Jay Lee's. Go to Ford and buy this pitman arm nut for nine bucks. It's it's pretty much only a one-time use on these trucks, and a lot of guys just reuse them when they do the lifts on them, which is okay. You can you can throw some red Loctite on it, maybe a lock washer, but with how cheap it is, it's like a sword Johnson. You can't beat it. Just go buy a new one. So new pitman arm nut. What else do we got, guys? This is like this. Is, so this is all the stuff I brought from the home garage, the OG garage. So we got some sheets, my little cheat sheets. I got. Uh, Torque specs. Look at this. I made this sheet up. I use this for all the super duty stuff. Oh, hell yeah. Like just pages of torque specs. Yeah. Matco pitman arm puller, guys. This is going to save you a lot, too. You're going to need that. That's in my last video. And uh, yeah, we got instructions. Printed these out. Rear track bars. Airbag. So this is for a six inch lift. Airbag kit we got. And then the six inch lift itself, guys. You're going to need a whole assortment of tools here. So, including, your including them. Oh yeah, I brought snacks. Where are they at? Forgot about that. Yep. In case y'all get hungry, we're a little, we're a little airheaded up over here. Pry bars, hammers, sockets, impacts. It's a lot of shit, isn't it? Yeah. Where's your light though? Oh. You gotta bring the light. It's there. Uh, I got two lights. Good. We got the Harbor Freight. I was gonna bring it. And then my we got this one. Tripod. Dude, I, I painted my house with this fucking light. Oh fuck yeah. This little Astro one I got off Amazon. Pretty nice. Yeah. Right? It does the job. All right, guys. We're gonna uh, we're not gonna show you too much. We're gonna show you critical parts we got here. So we're gonna put a time lapse on and show you unboxing all this. All right, guys. You want to see what a couple grand worth of parts looks like? Here you have it. So let me give you the quickest full rundown I can here for the power stroke back there. So. Six inch rough country lift kit, starting off, I'm just bouncing around. We got your four link arms, uh, got the drop brackets, got bushings we're gonna press in there. We got an upgraded front track bar, adjustable, we bought that. Extended brake lines, uh, track bar drop bracket, bunch of hardware, bump stop extensions, uh, brake line extension for the rear. Uh, this is uh, adding on your factory stabilizer, Sway bar drop brackets. We should have a carrier bearing drop bracket because it is a long bed. Um, yes, we do. Yeah. Rear blocks. Here's your rear blocks right here. U bolts. Uh, all the plates for your U bolts. Um, is this the V2 stabilizer? I don't know. What, v, I want to say V2. But we got the dual stabilizer for the front. Hardware. All the parts here. Uh, rear shocks. Front coils. We ordered a new factory stabilizer itself from Rough Country. Front shocks, hardware. Uh, going over here, we are adding on the Rough Country uh, towing airbag kit, the helper bags. 
So this is your whole ensemble right here. And when you order this, make sure you order the one that's for three to six inches of lift. So you have the proper brackets you need. So you got bags, all these brackets, airlines, hardware, fitting, zip ties, uh, shield for the exhaust, uh, you name it, we got it, man. Heading down here, we also ordered the rear track bars from Rough Country. You got all your mounting brackets to your frame side and the U-bolt side, and then we have the track bars themselves, hardware, whew, a lot of talking. Oh, can't forget about our little pitman arm nut that I walked by. Pitman arm, not nut, I'm sorry, pitman arm. That's that. You did get the nut, right? Yeah, oh yeah. We also got a new drag link tie rod we're gonna do, and a new track bar ball joint while we're here. They're a last baby. So, shit man. 1961 Ford Econoline coming together. That's what I think we got right here, guys. So, uh, I'm not gonna, we're gonna film bits and pieces, but starting off, we're gonna take the valence off to give us some room in there and the deer antler hooks. We're doing the front right now. We're not worrying about the back yet. Take the tires off, 21 millimeter. We're gonna jack it up at the frame side. Two floor jacks, so we'll show you when we get to that point. All right, guys, here's where we're at. So, valence, we took that off just so we can get our, you know, bodies in there. You know, we're big body boys over here, so eight millimeters all on that. Um, I got my 12 ton stands right behind the deer antlers, uh, frame side. Two four ton jack stands, or jacks, I'm sorry. And then now we're just doing the old regular shebang, so, you know, we're taking brake line off 13 you're gonna need a 13 milli 8 milli 10 milli bunch of them uh 18 on the shock 21 on the top we're gonna need a bunch of good stuff here so we're kind of just gonna might even throw a little time lapse on it we might film through it we'll see i don't know we'll see how our johnsons are feeling after this one but we're starting with the front so we're disassembling everything from track bar to track bar drop bracket to pitman arm you know the whole spiel so we're gonna lift the front for pat and then we're not doing nothing in the back right Sir. This guy's gonna be towing cardboard looking like he's tooted, man. Huh. They're like, man. So, yeah, guys. Play sore dick. It's like a sore dick, can't beat it. Over here, over here in the fab shop, yeah. we got my crew, Hans. You got these guys in line or what, man? Yeah. What's up, Bubby? Hey, man, say hi to your mom. Say hi, mom. Yeah. Gang, I feel you. All right, y'all. So, this is where we're at, guys. So, we got Pat, what is that, 21, taking the top shock bolt off. What do you do with these fucking wires? Probably tuck them out of the way. I don't know about that. Let's see. Oh yeah, we might have to use a smaller socket. What's up, Bubby? It's side by side. I see it. What are they doing to that thing? They're fixing it. Come on, man. Let's let, let's let YouTube know what's going down here. So guys, eight, ten, and thirteen. Thirteen right here. All of your eights for your ABS line. Push pins over there. Ten right here. Uh, 18 on the bottom, shock bolt on each side, and then Pat's messing with the 21 right here right you now. You want to hold it. I'm my dad Peter. You say who? You are I'm my dad. Oh, you guys watch my videos? Yeah. Oh man, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, Bubby. So guys, we're gonna zip the sway bar off. We're gonna take this all the way out. You have 15 millimeters, and 14s all the way around. We're gonna take the whole thing out of our way. 14 or 15 right here for the OEM stabilizer. We'll show you that. Gabriel, you'll be on YouTube, buddy. Guys, check it out. There you go, right there, baby. That is how you get the top shock bolt out. We're, uh, yeah, we're not reusing that. Pat's got that strong arm over here, baby. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Look at this, guys. Two for fucking one over here, man. Them shocks. That's all right. Good thing we're not reusing them. Gang, gang. Sway bar is out, guys. You got a 14 milli on the stabilizer, the OEM one, drop that down. Retain factory hardware. You got 18 millimeter on each stabilizer link and you got two 15s right there and there. Or maybe they're 14, I don't remember. But we got that out of the way, gang gang. So now we're gonna uh, hit the track bar up. We're gonna take that out, 30 millimeter. Sweet. So guys, 30 milli. On the track bar, oh, we're, we're hitting now. Yeah, pushing my way. Big old breaker bar and big old ratchet. All right. Let me see. Okay, that's sexy. Nice. There we go. That's actually pretty That's mint. Dude, yeah. We'll take that. And it don't look too rusty. No. 
Yep. Here we are, guys. Drag link, 24 millimeter. You got a castle nut, cotter pin on top. Take that out. So we're going to try getting the joint out of there, a little ball joint. I'm just kind of shocking the pitman arm right now. If that doesn't work, we'll use pickle fork. Stay tuned. What you're seeing here, track bar we took out. I don't remember where I left off, but 30 miller up, 30 miller, 30 milli up there. You got a 24 down here for that ball joint. You do not have to remove it there, but, well, actually, no, I lied. You do because you got a new track bar. No. The kit does not come with a new track bar. We bought the Rough Country adjustable track bar and a new ball joint. Okay. So a little off topic here, but we're going to press that ball joint out here eventually. Um, everything is out. I'm trying to for think of what we forgot. We're going to take that hose off the axle. And right now we're going to drop the axle and take the coils out. Yeah. There you go, guys. Another axle drop down. Coils are out. Uh, we're going to take the track bar drop bracket off, which you got 321s up in there per usual, and then 218s right here. Bump stops. We're going to crank these off if I can get it. Let me see. I might not be able to, but these just twist off, and then there's a bolt in there. We'll put the extension on, and uh, yeah, we're going to go after we get this stuff off. We're going to start hitting the pipping arm. Get that going. We're actually doing a little bit of maintenance right now. Uh, new draggling tie rod. I don't know. I got the GoPro on a time lapse. Hopefully that picks it up. Snap on tie rod socket. Uh, track bar. Obviously, we added on the adjustable track bar. And we're doing a new ball joint as well. So we're going to press this out. Hopefully, that'll be on a time lapse too. But we're doing this little maintenance shit right now. And then take Pippin arm off and then put a new one on. Then we'll start, start assembling, guys. Start getting this front end back together. Pitman arm, 46 millimeter nut. We got our fancy Matco puller we're going to use. We're going to show you that. Um, track bar, we got a new ball joint for it. Uh, drag link, we redid that tie rod. So we kind of got a little mess going on around here, but that's okay. So we're going to show you putting the Matco puller on here, shocking it, and getting it to come off. And we'll put our new one on, our provided rough country one, with our new Ford uh, nut.
Got Jay Lee over there getting after it. Pittman arm is on. He's doing a front bumper. He's doing a front bumper over there. New nut from Ford. I torqued to 400 foot pounds, guys. Uh, it's got red locks on it already. It, the way the shaft is tapered, uh, you cannot put it on a different way. So one way on. So we're putting the drop bracket on now, which you have the 321s back here and the 218s up here with them. Where are they at? Wing nuts right here. You will be retaining factory hardware, so we're gonna do that. We're kind of bouncing around here. We're gonna do that, get that squared away. We're gonna put the tie rod back in with the drag link, just let it sit there. We're going to maybe set the track bar on the bottom ball joint, seat that. We don't gotta put it in the bracket yet, or well, we can't yet. We're gonna do these brake lines. We're gonna do them. Coils, oh, hold on, I'm getting ahead of myself. Back it up. After we do this stuff and the tie rod stuff, we're gonna do the radius arms, we're gonna do the four link. We're gonna install that. Then we'll do brake lines, so, yep. All right, guys. Radius arm. Where'd it go, Pat? It's gone. Right here. Boom. Go. So, what did I say? I gotta remember now. 27 on the back side, over here, frame side. 24 millis on the front. Uh, yeah. So, we got this guy off, and we're gonna put the new one on. We're only doing one at a time, guys, because if you do both, you're gonna drop that axle down where that drive shaft is, so you don't wanna get too throttled up. So, yeah. We're gonna do that. Uh, drag links back in down here. We're not in over there. Um, yeah, so we're gonna do these four links right now, and we're gonna do some brake lines, and then uh, we're gonna zip bop boo bop here. Come up, put and pop, gang gang, right? I want you to do one side at a time. So, one side at a time, jacks stand or jacks, four jacks are still under the axle. You can push this thing forward. So, like I said, 24 and 27, you're taking your OEM one off, right? So, what we want you to start out with is these brackets are not side oriented, side oriented. They go on either side. You got this top one back here. You use this little crush. Spacer goes in there. Washer, bolt, other side, washer, nut for all three, right? Do that. Your top one is fixed. It's just the uh, bushing in there, so it's not adjustable. So that, basically you're gonna kick the axle with your foot. I know that sounds kind of ghetto, but kick it, line it up, boom. Bottom one, Pat. What was the bottom one set to? You gotta set this one to a certain length. Thirty-six and an eighth. Yep, thirty-six inches and an eighth. Thirty-six and an eighth. Center to center. You're gonna set it. This is for your caster right here. So this is the adjustable one. We're gonna tighten it with an inch and seven eighths crow's foot. So now that we do this side, we're gonna tighten it all up. We're gonna do that side as well. So, yep. probably takes a week guys ratchet strap method og because top one is set <coughs> excuse me the bottom one's 36 and 8 so you kind of gotta curl that axle up a little bit so we're gonna use a little ratchet strap method here we're gonna crank her in there four link is almost done and we'll tighten all the hardware we're gonna do some brake lines and we will start assembling the front end and be done head on to the Jay back he has two hours in a front valence and Jaylee's doing his front valence over there right bubba yep nice man Yep. You want to do an upper, upper oil pan for no, me? No, no. Oh. No. What, is that? what do I look like? Oh, yo, man, I'm looking pretty dirty. 
Hey, Gabe, thanks for saying goodbye to us, you fucker. Come on, yeah, man. Bitch. Didn't even say bye, he just walks out like he doesn't know us. Bitch. Yeah. This fucking thing. Still love you, though. Man. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, we're walking, we're talking. Four link is done. Uh, before we get any crazier with the drag link or the track bar that Pat's putting together, uh, we're gonna do the brake lines real quick. So extended brake lines, you got a clip right here. We're basically undoing it right here. Should be 11 milli, putting the new bracket up. And then at the caliper side down there, I believe it's a 14. And then obviously we'll bleed the brakes when we're all said and done. So yeah, we're gonna show you this. Um, what else? So guys, stainless steel brake lines. You got a 14 milli on each caliper. You got 11 up here. Also, I don't really like these clips that Rough Country provides, but it is what it is. New bracket. You like that custom bend? That's Power Stroker Customs right there. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna throw his track bar on, drag link. We're gonna line all that shit up as best we can. Definitely get an alignment at the alignment shop for sure. Sway bar drop brackets. We're gonna show you putting them on. We ordered a new stabilizer. OEM, we got a dual stabilizer, non-OEM. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna zip everything up here. Yes, sir. And missing a little bit of bits and pieces here, but drag link is back together, track bar is on. This lower track bar is torqued to 185 foot pounds. We do about 400 up there. Guys, a lot of this I'm not filming because a lot of this you've seen before. It's in a lot of my videos, but any questions, feel free to drop them below between the four link arms, the jam nuts, torquing them down with the inch and seven eighths, crow's foot, coils, uh, brake lines. We have all the stainless steel brake lines on. Uh, everything's good to go. We gotta bleed the system here. Before we're done for the day, we're gonna grease these Zerk fittings. Um, yeah, we're gonna throw the sway bar on right now. Drop brackets, the stabilizer link, the drop bracket for that. And then, uh, yeah, we'll probably put some tires on it and then throw the, uh, Stabilizer, the dual stabilizer on. Oh, just like that, guys. We got, we got Tyler working on the job. We got Pat working. Shocks are on. Dude, man, this thing's looking pretty tall. I think we're gonna leave it like that, tooted. No. He said nope. Light. Thank you. So guys, we're gonna put the dual stabilizer on. Breaker bar. Breaker bar, oh, dual you stabilizer. Don't, you don't, oh, you don't believe in these fucking breaker bar. Nah, we, don't, we ain't torquing nothing. But guys, I don't know where I filmed it. last, but... Oh, I dropped my fucking battery. Shocks, 18 on the bottom, 21 on the top. Um, we're gonna probably mess with the drag, drag link and track bar real quick. Then here, six inch rough country. It's your four link. Uh, yeah. Not. Yes. So now we're doing the dual stabilizer, guys. We're gonna throw our valence back on. Yeah. It's not bad for a hillbilly alignment either. We're definitely going to the alignment shop. Um, but I got the axle pretty as close as it can get. So we're gonna have them guys toot it up for us. I know, I ain't the greatest, you know? We'll get her done. With the V2 dual steering stabilizer as well. Looking nice. Nice and sweaty, man. So this whole front end basically received coils, shocks, uh, new track bar, new track bar drop bracket, new track bar ball joint, new pitman arm, new drag link tie rod, dual steering stabilizer, uh, new OEM stabilizer, which Rough Country's instructions uh, it looks a little little bent right there, man. So I don't know what they got going on there, but sway bar drop brackets. Uh, I'm probably forgetting stuff, man. But this whole front end. Oh, stainless steel brake lines, full four link. Now we're just waiting for the wheels and tires. Tooted. So we're gonna turn this thing around, guys. We're gonna do the rear real quick. I'll show you that. All right, guys. We're on to the rear. We're not leaving them tooted like we're in Cali. Jack stands underneath the hitch. Floor jack. 24 millimeter on the U-bolts. We're gonna zip them out. We're gonna take the shocks off. Uh, sway bar we might have to drop, might not have to mess with, we'll see. So we're doing blocks, U-bolts, and new shocks, and we are doing airbags. So airbags is gonna be added to this. 
We might not film any of that, but we'll we'll show you some of it. We'll show you key points. We're off to a good start. U-bolts, no moss, half inch impact, clapping out. In rust we trust. So we got two floor jacks underneath. Jack says you guys saw that. I want you to clamp both sides, right? Because you gotta take this bolt out. What in the fuck? Guys, that bolt fucking snapped right there. So that's not too gooder, but we're gonna figure it out. So we're cutting all four U bolts off because we don't need them. We're not using them. We're out here getting shit done, trying to. We're gonna drop the shocks. Um, we're gonna drop the sway bar down there, that link. Uh, we're gonna head underneath, take these, I believe they're 10 millimeters out on the factory block, which actually, yeah, we'll drop them. Head on the other side. We'll mess with the brake line bracket over there and the vent tube. So yeah. And we're gonna put you on time lapse, Rob. What's up, Power Choke Rick fans? If you're still watching at this point in the video, I just wanna say much appreciated. Love piece of chicken grease. It's like a sword Johnson, you can't beat it. Spar Elbows are hurting, y'all. Yeah. Axles drop down. Right here, you gotta new use new hardware, that middle plate. Because Rough Country does not provide any. If they do, we don't know where it's at. Usually they don't, because Jay Lee's truck, they didn't either, but here you go. Factory overloads, we also didn't have to clamp this, but we did it anyway. You got a uh, 16 milli on your vent tube, right down yonder. Uh, factory block, not factory block, Rough Country block gonna go in. We're gonna add some airbags on top. Like I said, we added a bolt here for this overload. So it sits in there. U-bolts are going up from the bottom. Yeah, so we're gonna keep showing you that stuff. Maybe, I don't know. Yep, throw these wheels on. All right, guys, U-bolts, blocks, new shocks, uh, bracket down below for your brake line, extension, and your vent hose. Six inch rough country lift on the old 2016. Track bars, we got the wrong ones, we gotta get the right ones. Airbags, ran out of time and energy. So we'll do it for another day. But we are throwing a some load leveling bags on this thing. And uh, yeah, wheels and tires, soon to come. Guys, look at this thing, man. Holy shit. It's a big fucking truck, man.